Tuesday and welcome to Topic Tuesday. Um, we are here again on our, this wonderful day. It's a little rainy by me, but you know, I love the rain. So um, welcome again. My name is Crystal Johnson. I'm the mental health clinician with the AFLC and thank you for tuning in again with us. Um, Topic Tuesday has been taken over by play. You know, we have been we have like about maybe a week or so, I believe, of fun, you know, at home with our children. So why not still look at the activities we could do at home with basically easily accessible materials, right? The first week, um, which was on the 10th of August, we focused on two activities, one with salt um, for our three to six year olds. Those were really fun. Um, last week, we made um, on the 17th a cyclone. Uh, which Nicole, which my guest and I were talking about just now. I just tr I tried it this week with my child and they loved it. And we did some art with calligraphy for our seven, 12 year olds. So today we are focusing on everyone now, that whole age group from three to 12. So today we have a wonderful guest with us who is, you know, has been great for the last two weeks and even before that throughout our marriage and family week. Um, and it's no other than Nicole Remy, you know, she's healing from the parish of St. Charles. She's been married for 25 years with a beautiful daughter and at present has been a widow, unfortunately, for last few years. She is a childhood, early childhood educator at um, Happy Hearts Learning, Early Learning Center for the past 35 years, I believe. And is also a vibrant member of CFC, if you all don't know that, it's Couples for Grace. So welcome again, Nicole, and I can't wait for what you have planned for us today. Welcome. Thank you. And welcome all. Yes, this morning is our final session on AFLC Presents Play. And so this morning, we cater for all age groups from 3 to 12. So this morning, our experiment this morning is going to be inflating a balloon. Yes, but you know we can inflate a balloon just by putting it by our mouth and blowing into it. This time, we're going to do an experiment inflating a balloon. So let me show you what we need to have. We need to have a cup with a little... Out. We need to have a bottle, can be glass or plastic. We need to have vinegar, baking soda. We can use food coloring, you don't have to, but we can. And we need to have balloons. Yes, and I did say you can use a glove as well. All right, so let, let's get started. So what we need to do first is to get our bottle, open the cap. All right, so I'm going to put my bottle, just shifting these aside. All right, so I put my bottle on the tray. All right, lovely. Now I'm going to pour vinegar into my bottle. So you can use maybe half cup of vinegar, all right? So I'm going to pour. And if, if you have the utensils that are light and easy, allow the children to do it. Let them hold the, 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 the cup and let them pour into the bottle, right? So we're pouring the vinegar in the bottle. See that? Yes. Yeah. All of it the bottle. So in my bottle, if you're not seeing it well, I'll bring it closer. The vinegar is in the bottle. Now because the vinegar is clear, I'm going to put a little bit of food coloring so you will see the vinegar in there. All right. So here we go. I put some food coloring in. Let me close it and shake it all up. Yes. Right. Can you now see the vinegar in the bottle? Beautiful. So we have the vinegar in the bottle. And now we are going to use our balloon. 
Now, I forgot to tell you that you needed to get a funnel. But if you do not have a funnel, don't worry. We can improvise. You can get a piece of um, hard board, crystal board or so. Roll it and tape it so that you get like a little, a little funnel and you put the balloon over, over it. All right? And now we are going to use our baking soda. Yes baking soda. So we're going to put the baking soda inside the little tube that we made so that we can put into the balloon. And you can use maybe five teaspoons of the baking soda in your, in your balloon. All right? Yes. Good job. All right. So now that we have the baking soda in the balloon, we are going to remove the balloon from the tube or the funnel. Right. So here we go. Now we are going to place the balloon with the baking soda onto the bottle with the vinegar. But you have to lean the balloon on the side of the bottle and fit the balloon over. All right? Yes. So now you have here vinegar, the balloon, and what's inside the balloon? Yes, baking soda. That's right. All right, so let's see what happens now. Let me clear the way so that you can see clearly what happens. And now we're going to lift that balloon up and allow the baking soda to fall into the bottle with the vinegar. And let's see what happens. So let's count up to three. One, two, three. Let's see what happens. Do you see that? Yeah, and now you have an inflated balloon. That's right. And you can remove your balloon from the bottle. All right. And if it's only one balloon you have, you can let out the air so that we can try it again. If you have more balloons, you can tie that balloon. Yes. See, so now I have my inflated balloon. Beautiful. So we have there our experiment. But we're going to come back and do another one, okay? Because you know these things are very exciting. Yes. All right. So let me shift now to my other station where we are going to do some art today. So we are going to do some um, collage today. Yes, we're going to do collage. You know what a collage is, right? It's where you have um, paper and you can cut your paper into different shapes and different animals, different designs. Yes. So this morning we're going to use a uh, um, white piece of paper you can either use sketch pad page um copy paper drawing book page whatever you have and you can use it white so that when you add color to it you are going to see it very bright and pretty all right so i did say to you that you're going to use the white paper. So here's my white paper. I'm going to put it on the table. And then I'm going to use colored paper. You can use construction paper, all right? Or you can use colored paper. So here I have different colors of colored paper. Yes. All right? We won't make anything a problem. Whatever you have, that's what we're going to use because we want to have fun. Okay? Yes, and remember, art is not perfect. Okay? So, whatever design you come up with, that's quite okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. So, I have colored paper here. Beautiful. I'm just going to spread my paper out for you to see. All right. So, this morning, we are going to do a collage making a caterpillar. Yes. Caterpillar. You know that, right? A caterpillar. And... A caterpillar's life is quite interesting because a caterpillar starts, yes, like an egg, and then it 
it goes into the, the caterpillar stage and then it gets to the cocoon and then afterwards it turns into a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. So let's create our collage with making a caterpillar. So you can use if you want to get fairly good looking circles you can use the circular shape draw it on your paper and then you cut them out all right so here i am i would like to have my caterpillar's face be orange yes so i'm going to trace my circle all right in orange and then i have to make the body right so the body is going to be a smaller shaped circle. Yes. So I want to give it a very colorful body. So I want to use all my colors. Yes, I want to use all my colors. That's right. So I'm going to give him a very nice colorful body. Yes. Right. So I use four different, actually five sheets of paper of different colors, all right? And then I would want to give him another circle, which is a smaller circle. So I'm going to use the cover from my blue stick, all right? Actually, I find that one too big. Let me see if my vinegar cover, oh, they're the same size, okay. all right. Okay, so I'm going to make smaller circles now, and I'm going to use my same colors. All right, I'm going to use green, I'm going to use red, I'm going to use yellow, I'm going to use blue, and I can use some orange too, because remember, we can mix and match our colors. All right, can you see that? Are you seeing that? Right, so now I'm going to use my yes. You know, it's very good when you allow your children to use scissors because it helps with their fine motor skills. Yes. So you give them the child proof scissors and allow them to cut stuff. Yes, it's very safe. For the little ones, you get the rounded edge scissors. Yes, it can be the plastic ones as well as the other one, right? Use the scissors, allow them to use the scissors to cut. Yes. And always remind them that we would only cut paper. Yes? Only cut paper. Yeah. Right. So here I go. I cut out my, my circles. Cutting out my circles here, and I'm going to cut all my circles. So then, when I'm start, when I start to stick, it's just going to be free flow of sticking. So do you see me cutting out my circles here? Yes. So friends, do you like caterpillars? Do you? Yeah, I find caterpillars are quite interesting. They're very colorful, and they have so many legs. Yes. I love to see them crawl. Yeah. And you know that the caterpillar turns into a butterfly, right? So the caterpillar has a short life and then it turns into a butterfly. Yeah. I hope you are having fun cutting out your circles. All right, Keras, the little ones, you can draw the circles for them. If they are too small to manage the scissors, cut it out for them. And the older ones, you can cut for yourself. All right? So we are going to put together the caterpillar. All right. I have two more colors to cut. I'm trying to move as fast as I can. All right? Yes. All right. So now I'm going to mount these circles onto my white paper. Yes, your white paper can be copy paper, it can be um, sketch pad paper, it can be drawing book paper. All right? Yes. 
yes. So it doesn't matter which one you have, we are all going to put our caterpillar together. Yes. Remember, we need to stick. So you need to have your glue ready. Yes. All right, so get your glue ready. And parents, if they need some assistance, help them, but give them an opportunity to do for themselves. Children love to do stuff, and they love to be independent. So allow them. Don't do everything for them. Allow them to do stuff on their own, and sometimes when they need help, they ask for help. Yes, they ask for help. All right? All right, so here I go. I have all my circles cut off now. So I am ready to put my caterpillar together. Yes, so here I go. I am using orange for my head. But remember, you don't have to use the same colors as me. All right, and we are not going to use this side that we trace on. The side that we trace on, that's the side we're going to put the glue on to stick it down. So we get a clean face. All right, so I'm applying my glue. You can have glue stick or liquid glue. If you choose the liquid glue, you need to apply very little or else it gets the paper warped. All right, so here I go. I stick my head. Yes. Now I have to put my body together. Yes. So I am going to choose a blue circle. So I'm going to just mount it first before I stick them, all right? So here I am, I'm gonna mount my body. Yes. And you can put more circles, okay? You don't have to just stay at four. If you have space on your paper, you can put more circles, yes. All right, so do you see? I, I put my circles up and down to give the effect that my caterpillar is moving. All right, so I'm going to stick now. So I'm going to, remember, we're sticking this side that you traced on, all right? So I'm going to stick my glue. All right. And we've put them close, closely, all right? Yes. And now I'm going to put my yellow. And now I'm going to add my red. But because I have space, I can add more, more to my caterpillar. All right, and I'm going to add my red now. So I will add maybe one more color, and maybe I can use an orange because I didn't have that size. Circle in orange. So I'm going to add an orange circle onto there. All right. Good job. All right. Now, our caterpillar needs some more things so that it can look like a caterpillar. All right. Now we only have circles. All right. So we need to put the face. And on the face, what do you think we're going to have on the face? Yes. We have eyes. That's right. Yes. So we're going to our eyes in or we can cut out more pieces to put our eyes all right and if you notice most of our our shape for the caterpillar is going to be circle yes and i'm sure the little ones know the shape circle right yes okay so there i have my caterpillar i have my head and i have my body so i want to add some more definition to my caterpillar. So I am going to put these smaller circles on. Yes, I'm going to put my smaller circles on. Mm -hmm. Yes. See that? Right. So there it is. My caterpillar has a little more definition. All right. So there I go. I stick that circle into the circle, and there you see on the 
the parameter I have the, the, the bigger circle being shown. All right? Yes. So you get more circles to stick on top. Yes. And remember, you can have your own color scheme. You don't have to follow mine. All right? That's where you express your creativity. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So that's my body. Now I want to put in my eyes. So I think I'm going to give my caterpillar some orange and green, orange and blue. So I am going to give my caterpillar some blue eyes. And I'm just going to make a little circle. I think you want a semicircle might be a little more interesting. I am giving my caterpillar a semicircular eye. Semicircular eye. Right. So I'm going to fold my paper. Yeah, I have my eyes, all right? So my caterpillar has eyes. Do you see my eyes? All right. So I'm going to stick my eyes down. And you can give the eyes, put the eyes planted so that it looks like the other one so you don't one can be higher than the other all right yes so there's my caterpillar eyes and now i'm going to use a marker and i'm going to draw a circle a semi-circle all right so it looks as if my caterpillar is looking down right now I'm going to give the caterpillar some definition on the cheek. So I am going to use some yellow. Yes, I'm going to use some yellow. And again, you know what shape you're going to use, right? A circle. That's right. Circle. So I'm going to give the caterpillar some cheek. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. I think I put my eyes too low. I need to put my eyes higher up, but that's okay. And now I'm going to give my caterpillar a mouth. Yes. Do you have a mouth? Yes. Me too. I have one. Yes. So you can make your mouth. All right, caterpillar. I think that's the only shape, or we can give it a kind of semi circle shape. All right, yes, there goes my caterpillar. There's the face, yes, and you know, the gluing could be a little messy, but that's all right. Okay, so nice. So now I have my caterpillar face and body. So what am I missing? I am missing the antlers and I'm missing the legs, okay? So let's use our markers, our crayons. If you have um, paints, you can use your paints, but you will have to use a Q-tip if you want to use paints, all right? And still you need a thin line, all right? So I am going to put a little on the top of the head and I'm going to give it a little curly like that. Yes. And then I'm going to put it on the other side. Yes. Do you see that? Is it too light? All right. So I'll, I'll make it darker. Let me try some purple. I'm going to do purple and purple. Yes. 
Ida. Right. Not better. Can you see it now? Right. Good job. All right. So now we want to put the legs on. And again, you can use different colors, okay? So to put the legs, we need to have one in the middle and then two on the side. One in the middle and two on either, one on either side, okay? One in the middle and then we can put on either side. One in the middle and then on either side. And these are very easy because it's straight strokes, okay? Yes. And remember, it does not have to be perfect. Okay? Beautiful. So do you see my legs on now? Yes. And so my caterpillar is coming alive. All right. So now we can decorate our page. We can put butterflies. We can put flowers. We can put a grass. All right? So I want to get my caterpillar crawling on the grass. So I'm going to use my markers. Remember, you can use crayons, bright colors, markers. If you want to use paints, you can use your paints. All right? But you need to use a cotton swab if you choose to use your paints. And below my, below my um, caterpillar, my caterpillar is crawling on the grass. So I am now going to put some more shapes down there. All right? And... It could be little flowers, little circles, right? Let's keep it simple for the little people, all right? You can put circles, different colors. You can put strokes like it's grass. So I'll use different color greens to give that grass effect, yes. And all you need is like a little dash, all right? Like if the raindrop is coming down, yes. And I'm going to put different shades of green in there. So you get the impression that it's grass. Yes, because the caterpillar is crawling. All right, on the ground, across the grass. Yes, very, very simple, easy to do. Those little people can do it themselves. So parents allow them, just allow them to do it. Please. All right, so I'm adding more circles because I want to put more color in there. Yes. You know, it's a colorful world. And I love colors, especially bright colors. Yes, I love bright colors. Yeah. All right. So you can make circles. You can turn those circles into flowers. All right. I'm going to make a little flower here. Yeah. All right. That one. Shoot some purple. Right. Yeah. Um. Try a blue. All right. Very, very simple. Yes. And if you so desire, you can color the whole bottom in green, right? The grass, and then you can add the flowers. If you want to cut out little flowers and put in, if you want to just take your marker and put little dashes in there and, and give your, your, your picture a really nice color. All right, so here we go. All right, so, so much for under the caterpillar. Now we're going to do above the caterpillar. Yes, so what can we do above the caterpillar? We can put butterflies, we can put flowers. If you want it to be a sunny day, you can put the sun too. Yes, so I think I want to capture the sun in the corner. I'm going to do a little, a little sun in the corner there, right? it up. All right. And I'm going to put my, my, my ring. Okay. So the sun is just peeping at the corner. Can you see that? Can you see my sun peeping at the corner? All right. Okay. And then I'm going to put a butterfly in. So let me use a bright color. So we're going to do the body first, which is going to be like a
time has answered. And so we have to answer a question. And you can even add some more color to it. Alright, you can put shapes inside of it. Alright, I have these two sticking with these, these circles. We can add circles inside the butterfly. Alright? Yes. You can even fill up the, the center with a color too. Yes. Alright. So here I have my butterfly. Can you see my butterfly? Right. And now we can add a flower too. Yes. Right. So I'm going to put a flower in there. Alright. Very simple, very simple, very easy. Remember, you can fill your, your things with color, you can put dashes, you can put dots. All right, I want to put some dots in my, in my flower. Yes, okay. So there we have our caterpillar. And you can have your own design. Remember, you can use whimsical things. All right. So I'll just show you another one, which I did. See this one? Yeah. All right. And this one I use copy paper. All right. This one I use the drawing book page. All right. Yes. So you can have it on different sizes. So let me put the caterpillar on this side. And let's try our experiment again. Yes. All right. Now remember, we need to have vinegar. All right. But this solution, I will have to change it. I'm not sure it's going to work again. So I may have to empty this. So we have to apply, first we have to pour the vinegar, all right? So we're going to pour the vinegar in the bottle, yes, vinegar. Ooh, I'm getting a reaction because there's some baking soda down in here already, yes, all right. And next, we have to fill the balloon, yes. Remember, we have to put the balloon over the funnel, right, and then mop the tip of the funnel, all right. Yes, put the balloon on. I like to squeeze it. Open. It has to be open, all right, so that the baking soda will go inside the balloon. Oh, I'm getting a reaction in there because it has baking soda in there already. Right, and now we're gonna pour the baking soda into the balloon. Are we ready to pour? Yes. Okay, so we can put five spoons of baking soda, all right, into the balloon. One, two, three, four. Okay, right, now I have to take this off, yes, all right, okay, let's see here, all right, what do I have to do next? I hope it did not, all right, Ooh. probably going to be an explosion this time, okay. put the balloon on, remember, ah, remember to lean it on the side, and my balloon rip. Right. And now I pour the, let the balloon and let the baking soda pour inside of the balloon. Can you see that? Oh. It used up my vinegar before. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I didn't get a big enough balloon. All right? Yes. 
So you have to try that again. You have to try that again. I have to get all that vinegar out of here because it's reacting before I get the, the baking soda into the bottle. All right? All right. So you, if you have a glove, you can put the glove over the bottle, put the, the baking soda in the glove, and put it over the bottle, and you will get the same reaction. Okay? Yes. All right. So let's see. For the older kids, we are going to use the word caterpillar. Yes. We are going to use the word caterpillar. So even if you want to cut out your caterpillar, you can do that, and then you can come now and add the word caterpillar. So let's do a little bit of calligraphy with the word caterpillar. All right? So the capital C in the caterpillar, that can be the head, where you're going to put in the eyes, the nose, and mouth. All right? And you can either stick or you can draw. All right? So... Let's see. I will use markers today. All right. So I'm going to take my C. Can you see that? Are you seeing it on the table? When it's on the table, I need to bring it up. All right. I'm going to change my color because my green isn't showing bright enough. So I'm going to write the word caterpillar again. I'm going to use a dark marker. All right. I'm right. Blue, and if you notice, I put my caterpillar, I put the letters up and down so that you will you will have that effect. All right, you, you notice the C, the A, and then I bring the T higher. All right, are you seeing it there? Now I put my E lower. And I put my R even lower. And I bring my P up a bit. And I take my I up. And now I go down with my L. And I put the other L a little further down. And then I bring my A up to the top. All right? So we have the word here, caterpillar. Yes. So now we are going to put. We're going to put the, 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 the face on the C. All right? So, big friends, you, you are good. You know how to place your, your, your parts, your body parts. All right? So, I'm going to place my eyes in the C. All right? And I'm going to put a little dot here. And I'm going to put the mouth. All right, remember you can use your discretion. You can give eyelashes. All right, yes, that's my caterpillar face. Yes, all right, and then your, your A, you can draw your legs. So let me put the legs on. I'm going to give my caterpillar, remember, one stroke down, one on the side, one on the other side. And you can use all your letters to give it that. All right? Yes. So the caterpillar will be moving. my caterpillar will move, all right? And you can come now and you can put different shapes inside of there. So you can come and you can put your, all right? That's a big one. I can use a small one up here. Circle down here. All right. And then I can do yes. 
and then you can fill the inside with the different colors. Yes, I can make a smaller circle in here, and then I can put right, and you can come now and you can add a little more to it. You can give it a shadow. All right. Yes. Beautiful. So you can come up with your own design. You can fill it with all sorts of colors and you can make it as pretty as you want. Yes. Very nice. So there we go. We have the bigger ones using the word caterpillar and creating their calligraphy and you can add as many things as you want all right yes so let me just put a little more color to this one all right a little more color to this one Okay, and there you have it. You have your caterpillar. All right, so you can have this one, you can have this one, or you can have this one. So I'll put them on the table. Can you see them when I place them on the table? Can you see them? All right, there you go. So friends, I want to say thank you for being a part of AFLC today. Do enjoy the rest of your vacation and be creative and you can come up with so many things. The sky is the limit and there are amazing possibilities. Just give a good shot at it and enjoy the rest of your vacation. So I now say thank you and goodbye. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. The caterpillar was really cute. And the one with the balloon, um, I actually never saw that experiment before, even for me. So that was really nice. Thank you so much for the last three weeks, you guys. It was wonderful. Please, if you did not get a chance to tune in, the videos are uploaded on Facebook and on our YouTube page. So please, please take the time to just check them out. We have, as Nicole said, we still have some time to have some fun and do some activities with our children um, before the school term opens. Um, so make sure, as, as we keep saying, have fun, get messy, be creative. As she said, the sky's the limit. You know, this is a really nice opportunity, you know, playing is developing, playing is important, playing is learning, is very important in, the, in regards to a, a child's development. And you create wonderful memories on top of that. So we want to thank on behalf of the Everest, Nicole again for doing such an amazing job for the last few weeks and taking the time out to show us these wonderful activities as well. We thank her for that. And um, we hope you guys really enjoyed everything that we, we offered these last three weeks. And if you want to show us, send us some pictures and some videos of, you know, your trends doing activities as well. We would love to see you guys doing some of the experiments and the activities Nicole showed us for the last three weeks. You know, the one with salt and the calligraphy, you know, post it up for us and tag us for sure. So you guys continue to keep safe, um, continue to play. Um, let's all be prepared as we get ready for school to reopen. Um, I believe we're online still and some are out. So let's, you know, let's do what we have to do, follow the protocols, the, you know, the procedures. We all know what we have to do to keep each other safe. Continue to keep each other in prayer, our brothers and sisters, our families, our children, as we try to still deal with the ongoing impacts of the pandemic. So you guys have a wonderful day. A blessed day and a wonderful week. Thank you again, Nicole, so much for joining us. And yeah. you guys have a wonderful day, right? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.